like the way in positive psychology, we tend to emphasize this, you know, don't just focus on decreasing the negative things, but how do we really amplify and increase the positive things that help us generate more of, you know, that those positive feelings, but just also meaning like meaning is another big part of positive psychology. How do we make meaning of things that have happened and even negative things or crises? You know, how do we start to think about the significance or what does that narrative look like when we go back and reflect on, you know, what just happened and what that means in the broader context of our lives. And I think the pandemic is, wow, that's a huge one. Like I'm still trying to wrap my head around when I look back and think like, what has this last few, what have these last few years been? Like, what will this mean in the long-term narrative of our family story? And it can be helpful to actually start to get into the nuance. So instead of just looking back and thinking, wow, that, that period of time was just bad. Like it was just awful. It was rough starting to, to tease out and give yourself some nuance there. So when we think about all of the things, which we've talked a lot about in some of our previous episodes and conversations that we've lost, that we're grieving, right? What feels, yeah. What just feels bad about it? Teasing out like, okay, well, actually what aspects were we grieving, but maybe what aspects were we not? You know, there were ways that a lot of people have talked about reinventing themselves, the great reset for your Mm -hmm, family, you know, mm -hmm. whether that just means how busy you were or reevaluating some of your values and priorities. So teasing out, you know, what aspects of this did feel really difficult? Are we sad to have lost? But what things were we able to do instead? Teasing out the meaning of this beyond just it was good or it was bad, I think is going to be important for all of us. 